Hello guys, welcome back uh, to another course. Uh, in today's lecture, we'll be talking about alternating current loads or AC loads. When we talk about current loads, we automatically think about alternating current loads and direct current loads will be AC load and DC loads. And AC will be alternating current and DC will be dire direct current load. Uh, and so we will discuss these two uh, different circuit loads. Uh, hopefully by the end of this video we understand the two different kind of uh, uh, circuit loads so let's start about <coughs> uh, DC circuit loads so in DC circuit there is only one type load which will be resistive load resistive load so in a dc circuit we said uh, we already talked about a volt time uh, amp is always equal to the watt or true power so we said the power formula we discussed that uh, in the previous chapters uh, let me change my pencil here So P, P was equal to V volt time I, which is ampere, uh, that is always equal to true power or watts in DC circuit. So in DC circuit, let's say it again, watt is always equal to watt or true power equal to volt time ampere or amp so that will be true for only dc circuits and ac circuit load uh, however that's not true because we only not having a resistive load we in ac circuit in ac or alternating uh, circuit load we have three different loads so we have a resistive load we have inductive loads inductive loads we have capacitive load we have these three loads in alternating current circuit let's talk about resistive loads what is resistive loads resistive loads contains pure resistance uh, so it contains only contains pure pure resistance so what is resistance load resistive load resistive load is the load that contains pure resistance the example will be heating equipment so heating equipment is example of the pure resistive circuit equip uh, bad with spelling let's try to equipment okay and how do we determine or the resistive loads are how they are determined or how they are characterized character characterized so they are correct characterized by three factors one they produce heat they produce heat okay and number two the current the current and voltage are in phase okay number three will be <coughs> only the resistive part of ac circuit can produce true power so let's write it only resistive part 
of AC circuit open AC circuit can produce and produce true power or we said earlier can also call true power watts so <clears throat> just to summarize uh, resistive loads Re what is resistive load resistive load is the load that contains pure resistance uh, the example will be uh, some heating equipment or some lightning that we used to you we used to use it earlier right before the LED lights um, the load the resistive loads are characterized by three factors they produce heat and the current and voltage are in the in phase and the third one will be only resistive part of an ac circuit can produce true power or watts resistive load were characterized by three factors they produce heat the current and voltage are in phase with each other and only resistive part of an ac circuit can produce power or true uh, true power or watts so we symbolize the resistor as resist as that so we call that R anywhere that you have a resistor resistor or resistance in a circuit that will produce heat produce heat <clears throat> so simple is that if you have a resistance in a circuit that will be producing some sort of heat and now then we talk about the current and voltage are in the phase so let's see what that means actually uh, let's change the color here let's make it black so we can see it all right and now change the voltage color here let's say that's my sign sine wave of voltage okay now let's follow that with a the amperage I should be doing a good job here let's do that right here okay so we said they are in a phase they are in phase with each other the voltage which is in red V and Amp, ampere or amp will be in blue okay so when the voltage is high the amp is high when the voltage is low the amp is low so that's what it means like they're in phase with each other or the current will rise and fall at the same rate as the voltage will reverse its direction or flow when the voltage reverses polarity so yeah so there's a positive right here and negative here so we say positive and negative if the voltage is uh, the, the polarity of the voltage is positive the amp or the ampere or the current will be rising when the voltage will be uh, come to the negative and the ampere or the current will be falling down so that's what the phase uh, in phase mean here uh, moving on to uh, power in an AC circuit, uh, we earlier we talked about power in DC circuit is always equal to amp, uh, ampere time voltage will be equal to watt or true power. But power in an AC circuit is a little bit different and tricky. Uh, that being said, because we did talk about let's uh, let's elab elaborate right here. Uh, we earlier in just a, a minute ago we talked about sinusoidal wave. Since the voltage goes, uh, uh, the polarity, it changes polarity up and down. It goes plus and negative. So that means we have a plus uh, positive voltage and negative voltage. And that will be followed with a positive amp and negative amp. So that, that has to be something, a uh, rule here. Uh, we know that from math that um, plus positive time negative 
is always equal to negative. Negative time negative is equal to positive. And positive time positive is al always equal to positive. So remembering these three rules, we can say that the power or the watts or the true power can only be produced when both current and volt voltage should be either negative or both should be positive so to produce let's uh, let's put it right here to produce true power in an ac circuit both the voltage and current must be either positive or negative not negative one but negative okay so to produce the true power power or watt in an AC circuit, both the voltage and current must be either positive or negative. So that will only that will be the only way to produce true or true power or wattage. All right, let's uh, let's uh, draw that uh, diagram here. <coughs> so, for example, let's draw it right here. So my this is my voltage. I'll draw it like that. So positive right here. Now let's try to do different color with the amp. Let's do red. Sorry for my drawing is not that good. Okay, so uh, and this is my black. The black is a, a voltage. Let's say this is black is a volt. And red is amp is current I would say current alrighty so now to find out the true power let's change the true power color for that and so true power is right here so true power is always positive right uh, terrible in drawing so it'll go up all the way here and come back right here and this will go back all the way there Wrong. okay so let's see something here uh, blue is true power or what in an AC in C circuit okay so uh, see this one we had a positive current and positive voltage and we produce the true power in a positive way because positive time positive will give us a positive voltage uh, positive power here we have negative and negative right here voltage is negative and current is negative but our pro production of a power will be always positive so to understand this thing we should remember that to produce power in an ac circuit we should have either positive both positive current and voltage or both negative current and voltage to produce a positive or true power or positive power because power can only be positive we cannot have negative power there hopefully that wasn't that confusing uh, moving on to the next section uh, This was it for today and in next video we'll be talking about inductive loads and capacitive loads. Take care guys